To do high quality screen recordings in OBS without it turning into a slideshow, first open up your wallet because it's mostly pay to win. You'll need a decent computer, preferably with a dedicated graphics card and preferably a 4K monitor. This helps a lot, but I'll also show you how you can record in 4K even if you have a 1080p monitor later in the video. Next, go into your display settings and set the scale to big. This is 4K at 100%, 150%, 200%, 300% scaling. It makes a huge difference, especially when you zoom into your recording. Now open OBS, go into settings, then output, recording, and then set the output mode to advanced. Some essential settings first, record using MKV because in case your recording crashes, you can recover MKV files but not MP4 files, unfortunately. The problem is that MKV doesn't import into some video editing software like Premiere Pro, so make sure you go into advanced in your settings, then scroll down to recording and check automatically remux to MP4. This will convert your recording from MKV to MP4 as soon as you stop recording. Beautiful. Back inside the the output settings, set your video encoder to either X264, which means that it will record using your CPU, the processor, or choose AMD something something or Nvidia something something, which means OBS will use your dedicated graphics card to record. That's why it's useful to have a dedicated graphics card or a mega powerful processor. I leave my computer specs and my super overkill monitor linked in the description. So you can copy these settings here if you want and scroll down to encoder settings. Here set rate control to CQP. Whoa! What if there's no CQP? It means you set your video encoder to X265, in which case choose CRF. This CRF number controls the quality. The lower the number, the higher the quality. Leave it at something like 20. If you set your video encoder to NVIDIA or AMD something, then down here choose CQP, and same here, the lower this number, the better the quality. Anything less than 18 is usually not worth it because your file size will bloat up. Next, just to double check, go to your video tab and make sure your base and output resolutions match and are set to the highest possible. Now if you don't have any doubloons to spend on a 4K monitor, but you still have a decent graphics card, then you can do a little bit of trickery. You can do a bit of trickery. This is going down in history. <laughs> we are number one. Hey! <clears throat> so if your graphics card is AMD, then right click, go to AMD software, click the settings wheel on the right, and then display, and turn on virtual super resolution. If your graphics card is from Nvidia, go to Nvidia control panel, then manage 3D settings, and set DSR factors to 4x if you have a 1080p monitor. I have an AMD graphics card, so once I set this, I can go into my display settings, and now I can set my screen to 8k, even though I have a 4k monitor. Then when I restart OBS and go into settings, video, kablamo. I can set this to 8k now. So if you're on a 1080p monitor, you'll be able to record in 4k. That's it. Goodbye. Ah, one more thing. If you want me to help you get your first 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, check out my paid community in the description. Goodbye.